Good morning. Oh my gosh, I'm doing a vlog. This is crazy. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna do mix in some more vlogs and stuff. I literally still have a vlog, you guys, from oh my gosh, my thumb under my thumbnail is absolutely burning. I was smart enough to cut jalapenos and poblanos last night and not wear gloves or rinse my fingers well enough. This has been burning since I fell asleep last night. Um, I feel like I just reignited the burn too. Do you need to go outside, Pipey? Say hi to everyone, cutie. Say hi, are you so cute? Oh, you're so cute. What was I saying? Oh yeah, um, okay. I wanna know why this camera, there we go. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I still have a freaking, <laughs> I still have a vlog of making tamales and doing like all the Thanksgiving stuff and like, Christmas stuff. Um, I don't know when I stopped vlogging, so I feel like I still need to put that together just because I spent so much time filming it. It'll also be fun to watch, I think. Also, you get to see how we did on our tamales. We did pretty good. Grandma would be so proud. She would. <laughs> we should send her a picture. Feliz Navidad! Yay! Feliz Navidad! Cheers! Tamales Cheers! 2020. All right, new tradition. Gonna make myself, so, okay, these used to be so cute and this chipped off. I always get asked where I got these. Obviously they haven't lasted very well, but in their defense, these are like seven years old. Um, I tried to find these on this website again because I bought these at a little uh, shop in uh, Palm Springs that was highly overpriced. I wasn't able to find them. So let's see, what flavor are we gonna do today? Oh, probably double espresso because that's all I ever drink. This is my second coffee for today, but I haven't pooped today yet, so we're doing what's necessary. Ooh, money. So the last tattoo that I got was this one, the gramophone, and this is an inside um, joke that I'm not gonna explain because it's private, but um, the same guy who did this is gonna be tattooing me today. Today, I'll show you later what I'm actually going to get tattooed because this is a tattoo that has a little bit, of, like the guy who did it and didn't finish it was a total a-hole. And um, he worked at the same shop as my ex-boyfriend when I was like 18. And so I haven't had this tattoo finished in a very long time. And actually I'll just show it to you right now. So it is this one right here. And I'd gotten this because you can see my scars, my anarchy and all that crap. I had cut myself back like in middle school and high school. And so I've been wanting to get this mermaid filled in for the longest time. Um, I really wanna do her tail like a really nice, beautiful like orange. So it pops off against that. So then all these little open spots, I'm gonna leave some cause I like my little doodad tattoos like that 13, but I'd like to fill all these little blank spaces in with some wind bars and just finally get this arm completed. By the way, that was one of my first tattoos right there. Um, so yeah, it, it's been a long, I've had this tattoo since I was 18 years old and it has just been sitting unfinished for so long. Mind if I do. I have been doing my little morning routine, sitting right here with my little plants in the background, all my stuff, all my testosterone cream. If you want to know more about that, I have a video about it. I've been doing my positive thinking. I actually really liked this one. If you want to pause that for a second and read that, I highly recommend it. And, oh, oh, almost fell off the table. Absolutely loving this book. Look at my bookmark too. Oh my gosh, look how cute he is. So adorable. That's Nick, by the way. And I got my five minute journal, my other journal, and that's kind of my morning right there. Also though, also though, my morning consists of um, playing June's Journey also while I, while I uh, drink my coffee in the morning. So I really like that game. My mom was playing it when he, she was here and I was like looking at her, I'm like, what is she spending all of her time doing? And now I understand. And I shouldn't have been a judgmental Judy because I play it like three or four times a day. Like I waste all my energy at night so that it builds back up by the morning. Like it's a whole thing. I also have, um, a team on there. When I posted about it the first time, I didn't realize that you could only have 15 people. And I was like, everybody join. And then like it was full and I was like, oh, oh, oh. 
and relax. Um, I also need to go out to my treadmill and do a little bit of a workout. I literally haven't been to the gym for like five days and I just know how good it feels on my mom, but my mind, body and soul when I actually do get a workout in. So I've got um, a treadmill in my messy garage and some weights. So I'm gonna go out there and do a little workout in a minute. Okay, so I'm driving, we're almost ready here. I'm driving Piper to doggy daycare real quick. She has been acting up a bit the past couple days. And I mean, that's no surprise considering that, oh shit, I my sunglasses. Ah. Um, that's no surprise considering that I didn't take her on a walk yesterday, which I usually do. And she usually goes to doggy daycare a couple times a week to get out some energy and play with some other dogs. And she, um, hasn't done that for like a week or maybe two weeks actually since she was at doggy uh, training where she got to play with some other dogs oh my gosh they sent me some videos they were so cute of her um, playing with like this other golden retriever that was there it was so freaking adorable so I'm gonna drop her off at doggy daycare pipey say hi say hi baby girl uh, so yeah I also got this sweater on Amazon for so cheap I'm gonna do a little IG reel, since I need to start doing those on my Instagram, of some new outfits and clothes, styling some new clothes that I got. So I'll link what I can. Um, and if I remember, I'll link it in the description box here or I'll link you to probably the IG reel. I do, I have a highlight on my Instagram, by the way, of like shop my closet and it's a bunch of stuff that I show on my Instagram that I link you guys to. So I put that on a, I, like an Instagram highlight on my thing and it says shop my closet. So if you guys ever want to check that out, there's some stuff there. This guy is riding a little moped or motorcycle behind me with no helmet on. I know you don't have to legally wear one in Tennessee, I'm pretty sure, but like that just seems stupid. Like why, oh fuck, I forgot my AirPods, he's reminding me. He's like literally barking at, or Piper's barking at him. Um, I forgot my AirPods, which is like, I like to at least have one in to listen to some music. When I'm getting tattooed, I think it's rude to just totally zone out personally. That's just my take on it. Um, no matter how long you're getting tattooed, there's like gnats everywhere. Um, so shoot, I forgot my AirPods, but. Well, I guess I'll be watching some YouTube on Instagram. I've been watching a lot of murder mystery stuff by Bella Fiore. Love them. Love me some mystery, murder mystery. Did you guys see that meme where it was like girls after they watch a scary movie, like all scared, like cuddling up to their um, significant other, and then it's like girls listening to true crime and we have like popcorn and we're just like so excited and it's actually like real details that we're listening to that are like so scary <laughs> um anyways gonna drop pipey off real quick and then i'll head over to the tattoo shop and take you guys in there and we'll talk about what we're doing okay i have arrived at did uh this is jay evans we are gonna why don't you tell them your plan like what you just said what we're gonna do today and then next time. So I think that uh, because we're gonna be doing all of the uh, recoloring this stuff and then putting in background behind everything and since you work dark to light, I think we're probably gonna have to come back and do all the dark stuff once this color stuff's healed so we can start with this design here and go ahead and color it in. And then we'll reevaluate that when we come back to do the, ba the black in the background for everything next time. Nice. Okay, so I just went on a road trip. I, I'm hearing uh, Alan Jackson right now. I literally passed a sign in Georgia that said fucking Chattahoochee. I did not know that that was a real place. And my dreams came to life. Actually, Alan Jackson is playing here um, in May, June. Alan Jackson's from Noonan, Georgia. The Chattahoochee River runs through Noonan, Georgia, and that's just south of just south yes, of. Yes, I'm just. <laughs> I don't know how I made it this far in life, but I had no idea. I was just like, oh, that's just a country song, whatever. And then I was like, okay, no, that's actually. There's literally either a Chattahoochee something. Apparently, I know it's a river now. <laughs> It's so crazy to see her with color. It looks so good. We gotta name her. I never named her because she just was just an outline. 
so awesome. What, what did you say about the color popping out? Because we didn't say that while we were filming. Mm -hmm. You were saying that the color will kind of settle back into the black line work and not pop out so much. Yeah, it's going to be really extra bright for the next, uh, I don't know, couple months probably. But really until it's healed, it'll die down and fade down into it and kind of level out into one into one cohesive thing. And we'll see when we come back to the next se session if we don't throw a little more black in it or just leave it the way it is. I think it will settle down pretty nicely though. Yeah, I think so too. Every time after I get tattooed, I remember how much it hurts. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, probably not gonna ever do that again. And then I always go back and get more. So it feels so weird to have this colored in. It's like unreal, seriously. Like it's been almost 15 years. It's crazy. Wow, this is very loud. I was just eating some soup to recharge. Um, that's crazy. So actually, I need to do my dishes because it's out of control in here. Like, can we just have a look at this? Like, I just do not like this being this messy. You gonna help me do the dishes, Leo? No? You just want me to throw that ball for you? Where's the ball? Where's the ball, monkey? That fucking head, head tilt. Anyways. Um, next session we'll probably do like the wind bars and do some like black, uh, it'll probably be like black and white wind bars is what he was saying. So do you guys have any tattoos coming up or did you get tattooed recently? I feel like every time we talk about tattoos, like there's like just tons of people in the comments that are like, I'm getting tattooed next week. I'm getting tattooed right now. I'm getting, I got tattooed a week ago. Let me know what you guys got. Also, what was your number one tattoo? Your or not num like your first tattoo. What was it? I'd love to know. Mine is the love and the lust on my wrists. It's just a heart and then the words. It's pretty boring, but <clears throat> thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching my little mermaid tattoo uh, journey. And I will see you guys in the 